Hello guys, it's Santa Cliff in June. I'm going to eat some um, Christmas food in June, okay? Now it's currently out of date. I did buy this when it was in date. I forgot about it to some extent. Um, my fault. Um, the expiry date is, the, sort of the best before date is the 27th of March 2023. It's currently the 19th of June 2023. Today, um, MPs in Parliament are um, debating um, the Partygate um, scandal report, um, claiming that um, which claims um, by politicians themselves, who came to a report claims that um, Boris lied about um, how compliant um, parties were that were going on with the COVID rules at the time within Whitehall and other places like that and um, the report found that he lied to um, Parliament about it and the recommendation was that um, he would be suspended for I think um, so many weeks and but that was no longer relevant because um, before the report was published, um, Boris has resigned as an MP. Um, but nonetheless, they're currently, um, even though it's now pointless to some extent because he's resigned, um, they're still debating it in Parliament today to determine whether they act the politicians actually agree with the report and whether they agree with the findings of the report or if they think that the report is malicious and wrong. And the expectation is is that um, politicians on all sides will agree with the report saying that Boris lied to, to Parliament, even those in his own party. OK. Um, but anyway, that's a separate issue. I'm, it's currently, as I said, the 19th of June today, and um, that is the main news story today of politicians debating and will be voting in Parliament on this particular report. Now, I could not have known that in March. I could not have known the exact day that was going to happen. I could not know it was going to happen exactly today, the 19th of June. So I could not have known that then. So that proves these are out of date. Okay, guys. Now, I'm going to open it up. And this is genuine Christmas food. Okay. And inside here, it says. Vegan. Oh, these are vegan. Well, wow. vegan Belgian dark chocolate worship elves. I didn't notice for they were vegan when I got them, but they just happened to be. I, I, I bought them because I thought they looked cute, and then I, they make a good video, right? So I'm going to open up the pack. Open up the pack. I can just see here. It's got lots of them. I believe they're all the same. So uh, it's not like one where you get a variety. They all have the same um, mixture and size. So it says Belgian. Vegan dark chocolate elves filled with soya based pink Himalayan salty caramel. What the Himalayas have got to do with it is beyond me, but there you go. I'm going to take one of them out. And here you see it's got the shape of an elf. It's a sort of mythical character associated with Christmas. Um, Um, Will Ferrell did um, a Hollywood movie called Elf for Children. Let's, I'm going to snap this to see what's inside. Right, okay, it's got... No, it's very sticky. Oh, God, very sticky. Okay, so... I wasn't expecting that. I know it's warm at the moment, but this is ridiculous. I don't expect it to be. I'm just trying to um, chop the um, camera off my fingers, so I'm going to go pop it in now. I personally am a fan of dark chocolate, okay? I know a lot of people aren't, but I am. Um, 
I think I found a way I can make this vegan because it didn't need to have milk in it, so. Instead of using milk, I've used coconut oil, so I've used coconut oil in this. And I'll be honest, this doesn't taste too bad. Um. A lot of vegan food tends to taste disgusting because it tries to be something it's not and never will be. This doesn't taste too bad. Okay? Alright, I'm going to try again now. I'm going to try just a chocolate bit on its own, if I can. Just a bit of chocolate on its own. Oh, the chocolate seems perfectly okay. It's got that sort of dark chocolate flavour where you get it sort of, it's quite strong but also quite sour, I think, to some extent. Um, often, dark chocolate on its own isn't so good, doesn't taste sometimes as good on its own, but it's better when complemented with other things, okay? For example, biscuit. Yes, I happen to like plain digestive biscuits, believe it or not, okay? And, um, look at this caramel they put in the middle. That makes it very, very juicy. So, it counteracts the dryness and, well, I think the slightly sourness of the dark chocolate with the juiciness of the caramel on the side. Now, This is an LG, um, um, branded, um, pack. So, okay, specially produced for LG, so. It's made specially for this supermarket. It is a German supermarket, so, um, if, um, the Germans had won the war, we would probably be eating this every single day, right? Um, you know, that's my joke, but you know. And Gout is actually, um, a very popular German supermarket here in Britain, believe it or not. Um, I very rarely go there now because it's usually way out my way. I did go there sometimes in the past, but I originally I avoided it because I thought the quality wouldn't be too good. But then they improved the quality over time. And um, this is when I had a job. So when I you know, had a job, I tend to avoid it um, for a while. Because the quality wasn't so good. It was known as not very good in the past. But it was what it was. It's for people who were very poor. But the quality wasn't so good. And I always had to go out my way to go there. Um, now, I really have to go out my way to go there. But sometimes I just happen to be near one if... I had to go and get certain other things, for example, um, so, you know, it's not somewhere I would regularly normally go to, not out of choice so much now, but simply because it's not in, you know, it's not near where I want usually, okay, because the one that was near where was closed down. Anyway, that's irrelevant, I'm just going to show you again. I'm just going to show you what they look like again. I notice it's got looks like a face on it. So, you know, they've put a lot of detail on this. So you've got the feet, you've got right, the hat, you've got lines on the hat, you've got like the buttons on the coat, you've got the belt. It's like a belt. You've got a lot of detail on this, and you've also got the ears. It looks like the ears at the side. Try and show this. You've got like the ears at the side. So they put a lot of detail into this. And there's no detail at the back. So at the back, there's no detail at all. It's just flat. At the back, no detail at the back at all. But the front and the sides, they have put detail on. 
and you know um, for example you can also see the fate at the side from the side you can see the fate as I turn it look it's just very difficult for me to hold it but so I've also done the fate from the side as well so there you go guys okay um, the ingredients they say are dark Bel sorry, Belgian dark chocolate 52% and they give details of what that consists of um, sugar water glucose syrup cocoa butter shea fat I've no idea what sheer fat is, maybe it's some sort of religious thing. Is it like sheer Muslims? I've no idea. Um, chicory fibre, cocoa mass, rice flour, coconut oil. Um, sometimes they would have used milk in more, a lot of chocolate, even if it's dark chocolate, sometimes they use milk. Um, soybeans, pink Himalayan and salt, thickener. I can't spell this. X I N T H A N, Xanthan, Xanthan gum, emulsifier, lecky fins, I've no idea, bracket, soy bracket, vanilla extract, cocoa extract, sea salt. It says dark chocolate contains cocoa solid 72% minimum. And um, I've mentioned here it's vegan and also fair trade. And fair trade means that they pay more than necessary for um, the, like the raw ingredients. So um, I've mentioned the word cocoa here. So what they're saying is basically they paid the cocoa farmers more than they needed to. Because in the West, um, even though conventional wisdom is to pay as little as possible for... Um, and then sell things for as much as possible. Um, there's been the fair trade movement, which has encouraged food producers to pay more than necessary for the ingredients because they feel sorry for people in poor countries. Okay, and so that rich people don't feel guilty about um, ripping off poor people in poor countries. Okay, and so it's a way of reducing guilt, if you like. So, there you go guys. Vegan Bert Belgium dark chocolate workshop elves filled with vegan pink Himalayan salty caramel. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.